U.S. law enforcement targeting a Putin ally. Federal agents raiding the homes of a billionaire Russian oligarch here and questions this morning about the sudden death of a top Russian oil executive who went against the Kremlin's line on the Ukraine war. Our foreign correspondent James Longman, of course, is tracking it all. Hey, James, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Geo. Business and politics have long been interconnected in Russia, and that's because some of Russia's richest men made their fortunes in companies that were once owned by the state. It's long been a dangerous game, but for some high-powered executives, it may have become deadly. This morning, the FBI and Homeland Security turning up the heat on ultra-wealthy Russian oligarchs connected to President Vladimir Putin. Agents searching the New York City apartment and a Hamptons home associated with Russian billionaire Viktor Vexelberg on Thursday. All part of a Justice Department task force which is charged with finding assets, like these planes and yachts, of oligarchs trying to evade sanctions over Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Vexelberg's $90 million yacht was seized in April. Meantime, in Russia, the sudden death of another powerful Russian businessman is making headlines. Russian media reporting Luke Oil executive Ravil Maganov fell from a six-story hospital window. This is one of many cases involving executives in the energy sector, which is very tightly regulated by the Kremlin. Maganov, who's seen here with Putin, is the second Luke Oil executive to die in the last few months. The company has been critical of the Russian invasion into Ukraine. This is the eighth high-powered Russian businessman to die suddenly since January, many of them with links to the oil and gas sector. It seems that even though a lot of Russian oligarchs are not happy about the war, they are too scared to speak up because they fear for their very lives. Now, Maganov was admitted to the hospital, according to Russian state media, with a heart complaint. He started acting suspiciously, they say, and then he threw himself from the window. But eight Russian executives dead in the last year? I think you'll agree that's also suspicious. Michael? It definitely raises the eyebrows there. Thank you so much, James. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.